The UFC is saying thanks to our fans with UFC Rewards, where you can now earn points by doing things you already do, like visiting us online, watching UFC.TV, buying pay-per-view events, and more. Then, redeem your points for things like limited edition collectibles and exclusive experiences that won't be available anywhere else. It's free to join, so visit UFCrewards.com to get started today. UFC Rewards. Get as good as you give. Before a night of two incredible title fights. Someone will leave with the belt. UFC 187 starts here. One of the most powerful strikers in his division. So close to a title shot, he can taste it. Sean Dodson, your number one contender. Faces his biggest challenge yet. Zach Krakowski, oh! UFC 187 prelims, tomorrow at 7 on Fox Sports 1. Oh my goodness! Rumble is a machine right now! Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen! That man's ready for another shot at the title! Chris Weidman knocked Anderson Silva out cold! Vitor Belfort has finished 10 opponents in the first round. He is a monster! UFC fans, the Octagon is returned to the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. For the official weigh-ins, for UFC 187, Johnson versus Cormier. Tomorrow night, only on pay-per-view, two titles will be on the line. In the light heavyweight division, Anthony Rumble Johnson, unbeaten at 205 and destructive inside the Octagon. Coming up back-to-back post-fight bonuses, looks to become the 12th light heavyweight champion in UFC history. His opponent, two-time Olympian Daniel Cormier, who opened his professional mixed martial arts career with 15 straight wins, and is confident that he will capture the belt in his second chance at UFC Gold. Also tomorrow on pay-per-view, unbeaten middleweight champion Chris Weidman returns ready to defend his belt for the third time as he fights yet another brilliant Brazilian, Vitor Belfort. The phenom has knocked out his last three opponents and will look to become just the third fighter in UFC history to hold a belt in two different weight classes. We'd like to send out a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members and thank our UFC sponsors. Bud Light, the perfect beer for, what, for whatever happens. Harley Davidson, the only motorcycle worthy of being in the octagon. Roll your own. Metro PCS, where you get unlimited data, talk, and text on the nationwide T-Mobile network for $30 period. And by Muscle Bar, fueling athletes safely. And now, to get the official weigh-ins for UFC 187 underway, here is Joe Rogan. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Woo! Ariane, Chrissy, Brittany, Vanessa, Luciana, Dana White. Without him, none of this would be possible. Joe Silva, best matchmaker on the planet Earth. Lorenzo Frittina, without him, we would not be here. Bruce Buffer, voice of the octagon. Let's get things started. We got an epic card, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to kick it off in the flyweight division. Justin Scoggins versus Joshua Sampo. up on the scale, Josh Sampo.
126. 126.
171. 171 for Mr. Pyle! Live at UFC Fight Pass, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Pyle and Colby Covington. Next, we move to the prelims live on Fox Sports 1. We kick things off in the women's strongweight division. Rose Namajumas versus Nina and Sarah.
gentlemen. Next, we move to the flyweight division. John Dodson versus Sam Makoski.
241. 241 for the former UFC heavyweight champ. And his opponent, Travis Hoppe. Weidman defends his middleweight title against Vitor the Phenom Belfort. It's a fight between the very best contender against the man who dethroned the man. Vitor Belfort has more experience than any other world-class fighter. Experience, it's something you cannot buy. I fought the best guys in the sport. And that's part of my legacy. It's arguable that right now he's never been better. Look at the fight with Michael Bisping. Look at the fight with Luke Rockhold. Look at the fight with Dan Henderson. They are three of the most spectacular victories of 
Vitor Belfort's career, and they are his last three fights. That is the momentum that Vitor Belfort will be riding into his title shot against Chris Weidman. You know, I won the belt. That was one of my goals. Now I get to start building my own legacy. Chris Weidman is the quintessential gritty wrestler, has world-class submission skills. He also has knockout power, and he is very mentally tough. You have the man who beat not once, but twice, the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter ever in Anderson Silva. And then a victory over Lyoto Machida in a five-round war. Going through those fights, now I know for a fact I'm the best in the world. My main goal, I am the new middleweight champion. Really, the goal every time is I'm just trying to break these guys' wills. I'm about to make history. I'm not going to stop until I finish them. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challenger, the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Vitor Balfour! I'm here with the challenge of Vitor Belfort. Vitor, when it comes to careers in the UFC, your career is virtually unparalleled. You started off at UFC 12. I mean, it's been a spectacular run. And now here you are at UFC 187 fighting for the title. Give us your thoughts on what this journey has been like and what tomorrow night means to you. What's up, guys? What's up, Brazil? What's up, America? So for me, it's a, it's a dream. I'm, I'm living the dream. I'm just blessed to be on this board and performing, ready to, to win tomorrow. Good luck to you, sir. Can't wait to see the fight. Vitor Belfort, ladies and gentlemen. I'm with the champ, Chris Wyman. First of all, Chris, what, what were you saying to Vitor? What, what, was, uh, what was upsetting you? You know, I left him alone with this whole drug test thing, but then we just found out during camp he had a 1,200 testosterone score. That's, I'm 10 years younger than him, and he's got a way higher testosterone level. This guy's still cheating. I'm going to make him pay for it tomorrow night. Good luck to you, sir. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a closer look at the other two men involved in the co-headliner of the evening.
Breaking news just into Fox Sports 1. The UFC has stripped John Jones of his light heavyweight title and suspended him indefinitely. We welcome in UFC President Dana White. He's disappointed, but it is what it is. It was the decision we had to make. You know what they say, the show goes on. Daniel Cormier's type of guy, as soon as he heard it, he said, I'm, I'm ready and put me in. I, would, I want this opportunity and was beyond pumped. We all have to walk to the octagon knowing that it's our time, this opportunity was presented to us for a reason. We have to take advantage of it. I just want to fight for the belt. I don't care who's across the cage from. I'm going to fight them the same way I fight everybody. It doesn't matter once that cage door is closed behind us. You know, that championship is what drives me. Daniel Cormier will, without a doubt, be the toughest guy Rumble Johnson has ever faced. Cormier is an Olympic level athlete. He is a guy that has unparalleled wrestling skill. Dan is hardcore. He fought John Jones and he fought him five rounds. That says a lot. And I have nothing but respect for him. Rumble right now is one of the most terrifying guys in the UFC. The way he went after Alexander Gustafson, the way he took apart Minotauro Nogueira. I think he's a phenomenal fighter. He's got a good wrestling base and he's got uh, just jarring power in his hands. But, I mean, I fought at heavyweight for a long time. Everybody hits hard. I think a lot of it's perception. You know, a lot of times people buy into what's perceived to be. I mean, if he wants to think that way, let him think that way. At the end of the day, it comes down to who wants it the most. I truly believe I'm going to win. I think I have all the tools to beat him. It will be a lifetime goal that's finally been accomplished. I'm here to win titles. You may as well pack that belt up. Send it to me. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the vacant UFC light heavyweight title. Introducing Daniel Cormier. to get another shot at the title and give us your thoughts about Rumble and his opponent tomorrow night. It felt amazing to get this call. Uh, I think the world of Rumble as an opponent, but at the end of the day, the truth is Anthony Johnson is not good enough to beat me. I'm gonna be a UFC light heavyweight champion tomorrow. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with a slightly amused Rumble Johnson. What did you think about what Daniel just said, and what do you think about tomorrow night? Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting us. Um, honestly, Daniel's entitled to his own opinions. What's going to matter is tomorrow night, and we'll see what happens. We will see what happens, sir. Good luck to you. Rumble Johnson and Daniel Cormier, we will see you all live tomorrow night on pay-per-view. Thank you very much for coming out.
machine right now. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. That man's ready for another shot at the title. Chris Weidman knocked Anderson Silva out cold. Vitor Belfort has finished 10 opponents in the first round. He is a monster.